Good morning. Welcome back to camp. Today we're going to start the uh, spraying in the fifth pasture. Spraying all the edges of the ravines for the antenna, tobacco bush, um, and the like. This, this is 500 mils. That does 100 litres. And it's apparent woody weed. It's uh, it was originally it was originally called uh, Grazon, and they had a 20-year patent on the two chemicals that were in it. The idea was that you sprayed it onto bush, and you ended up with grass. So it kills all woody weeds, and uh, generally leaves grass alone. But it does damage it a little bit, and takes a bit to come back. And I also use a product called Bosol 600. And in 200 litres, I'll mix 40 grams of this. This is for um, bracken fern. Um, when you spray it and you just let, let the plants die, it actually kills the roots and all. If you slash, slash it, it just keeps coming back. It just keeps coming back, keeps coming back. Um, many weeds don't. They don't like being slashed. And many weeds will just die. But anyway, let's get this mixed up and uh, we'll get out there and do some spraying. So what we have here is, is a 215 litre drum and we'll put the chemicals in the drum and then we'll fill it up with water. And that'll get a good mix up on the way out to the pasture. And we're filling up that. We'll also uh, put some more juice in the fill tank. We have a side glass here, which I'll fill it right up today. We have a three piston pump here that, that it's got three grease caps on it. I'll just screw them down a few turns. And let's get some petrol. These tanks does two of these. Okay, so This is the second 500 mils, so one litre. Ugh. One litre does 200 litres. On the reel here I have 30 metres of hose and I have a, my gun here. And so let's get this filled and uh, we'll get out there. Okay, we're just going to get ourselves through this gate. This is a, a really nice area now, coming through to the fifth pasture. We've had some beautiful rain, and this dam is flowing. Um, the creek up the other end is also flowing, so let's go. And, uh, Okay. 
So we've got a branch down here. See the water flowing there, flowing out. This is what happens on this property is uh, you end up with these amazing ravines and the only thing that's left are the rocks. But look at that, look at that uh, pine tree there. Won't be long and that pine tree will fall down So what we'll do is we'll start right here and we'll spray into this burn pile as much as we can. So get some gloves on. And my trusty mask. I'll do is I'll spray out about three meters around here as well. You've got to put, you've got to spray every leaf on the plant because it will just have a die back and then come back to life again.
All right. There it is. That's uh, it's probably 100 meters around at least. And I sprayed out about three meters here, two meters. So let's roll up the hose and we'll move on. Okay, so we're down to about 90 litres of juice there. So we use 110. Okay, we're just coming up to the burn pile here now. And um, it is now the 10th of June. So we'll go up and have a look, eh? So you can see right over in the very centre of it, um, there's still a bit of green, but that'll burn out when we get a fire. Now, I've sprayed this pasture all around here. Um, and the bracken fern's dying, there's a couple of bits there. But as you go up there, you can see this green line. And also over the other side there. So let's go and have a look what's going on there. Now what's happening here is I've sprayed the pasture down here and as I'm coming up what you can see here is that green growth is grass and weeds, bracken fern and as you come swing down here you can see that all the woody weeds have been knocked on the head there's a lot of grass also taking a hit but what I'll have to do is I'll have to slash this again and, um, and then I'll let it grow for two weeks and then um, I'll spray it. But you can see the burn pile there, the sun's gone going down. But uh, I sprayed that in April and it's now June. So about the 16th of April, I think I did it. It's about the 10th of June today. So there you go. Um, that's the result of using the spray. And a lot of this was weeds. A lot of this, in fact, was underneath the antenna. And um, as we walk over here, You can see we're coming into a bit more grass here. That's because you can actually see the trail. There's actually a, a, a run right down through here and down the bottom there. And uh, it, used to, it used to go up there as well. But the pastures have come back. This was sprayed. You can see the die back in, in some of this, this growth there. Um, so this has been slashed here a number of times over the years because as I said I did get the tractor in here and push up a, a path through here and, uh, but that area over there it's shaded now at the moment that needs to be slashed 
and strip down there sprayed and this slashed and a strip across here sprayed and then uh, that just about takes care of, of all the all the weeds of woody woody trees and things at the edge of the, the gullies there anyway um thanks for coming along guys thanks for coming along guys and uh i'll keep you updated on these pastures as we do them maybe short videos and stuff like that and, uh, thanks for watching please subscribe and like if you like the content ring the bell for notifications and then um, we'll catch you on the next one bye for now